Van Dyke. Weather really making news because our temperatures, boy, they're mm -hmm. going up. Yeah. Okay, Kristen wants us to say something. Well, yeah, like, oh, I like what? Yeah, I got my orange on. I'm like, aren't you forgetting something, yes. Jennifer? Yes. Go Broncos! <laughs> She's been she celebrating she all night. She did a victory lap around <laughs> the yeah. yeah. with, with the dog ranger jersey. in the jersey. And her dog and was dressed dog up in a jersey. And a jersey. Too. I was wearing Von Miller, the man, and okay, Ranger I'm was Peyton Manning. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, we'll get back to this lovely, <laughs> I just lovely gave weather. Him no weather but no. <laughs> um, yeah. Look at how warm it was today. It topped out in the yeah, low beautiful. 60s. It, it has so been nice uh, just so gorgeous. Almost too gorgeous to go inside and watch the football game. But the good news is, if you did, you're going to have plenty of chances to get back at it again and get out and about as we head through this week. So highs today, 62 in Portland, 60 in Vancouver, uh, back down towards Salem, 61. But check out Eugene. That is not a mistake on the map. 48 degrees there, stuck in the cloud cover there, and the low fog, and the, the low clouds and the fog there. So uh, look at the visibility already down towards Corvallis and Eugene, half a mile to a quarter of a mile. So Visibility is going down there too. We'll have to watch for some of that to creep back up into the metro area as well. So we will start off with some fog in the morning, but most of it should move on out thanks to that wind from the gorge. Uh, it's going to be cranking as temperatures warm back up again, but it does mean that uh, down towards Corvallis and Eugene, it will likely be just a little bit cooler there thanks to all that fog around. Uh, right now, 45 degrees. Winds coming in from the northwest at about three, and so we're seeing light winds for now. Low to mid 40s up and down I 5. Back towards Hood River and the Dalles. We're in the 30s, mid 30s, and central Oregon. Uh, here's the breakdown for what you can expect for Portland as we go through your Monday. We're going to be looking at patchy fog in the morning, 45 degrees. We'll be in the upper 50s for most of the day, but in that mix, we're going to see temperatures getting into the low to mid 60s tomorrow afternoon. It could actually be a little warmer than it was even today. And then up at the coast, we're going to be watching for more sunshine here. Take a look at Astoria, time lapse from today, and you can see some milky skies occasionally here. We had some high clouds stroll through, but it was a May 4th, this gorgeous sunset uh, tonight, and we're going to be looking at even uh, clearer conditions tomorrow with more sunshine. Of course, up in the mountain, that meant bluebird skies. And so uh, just seeing a lot of sunshine there, too. So don't forget the sunscreen if you're going to head up. It'll be spring like conditions because of the warmer weather, uh, but abundant sunshine. Satellite and radar here, you can see everything is quiet. No rain to talk about anytime soon. Look how high that cloud cover is arcing to our north. Thanks to a big ridge of high pressure, it all started down in the Super Bowl and, <laughs> in California and worked its way up to the north. And so we're seeing all the sunny mild weather in the Pacific Northwest. We'll go ahead and fast forward to Tuesday. Tuesday stays really sunny and warm. Wednesday is going to be the day that we start to see the changes. So Wednesday morning, we start off a little more cloud cover and it'll be partly sunny for Wednesday afternoon, but we stay dry. By the time we get to Thursday, we start to see the rain chances. So your forecast for your Monday, temperatures in the low to mid 60s, up and down I-5, 50s as you head east. Tuesday, low to mid 60s again. Wednesday, we're back to the low to mid 60s. It'll be on Thursday. That will start to see a little drop with the big drop at the end of the week. Oh, here's your forecast. We're looking at highs in the 60s for the next few days. Okay, a special edition of Game On Next, live from San Francisco. Keep it right here. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I went a little long, sorry. <laughs>